but at this point, recognize uh, Senator Cruz. Good morning, Secretary Mayorkas. Good morning. Is there a crisis at our southern border? Senator, uh, there is a very significant. That, that's a yes or no question. There's a very significant. It, is there a crisis? Senator, there's a very significant challenge. I think your microphone is not on. There is a very significant challenge that we are facing. Yes or no, the is there border. a crisis? I believe I've addressed that question. So Senator. you're refusing to answer? Senator, uh, there is a very significant challenge. and we Will you are answer therefore, if there's a crisis? Therefore, we are dedicating the resources. Okay, so you're refusing to we answer. Well, Secretary Mayorkas, I'll tell you someone who is willing to answer, which is your and President Biden's chief of the Border Patrol in a sworn deposition in July of 2022 when asked, would you agree, Chief Ortiz, that the southern border is currently in crisis? Answer, yes. Notice none of those wiggle words, none of that equivocation. One word, one syllable, yes. Are you willing to speak with the same clarity as Chief Ortiz? Is there a crisis at our southern border, yes or no? Senator, I'm very proud to work alongside. So you refuse to answer. Let me ask you the next question. Has the crisis at our southern border made Americans less safe, yes or no? Senator, we are dedicated to the safety. Has and the security crisis made Americans less safe? I don't. I don't want a, a discourse. It's a yes or no question. Senator, we have a challenge of. You refuse to answer the question. Not, Se Mr. Secretary. Let me show you how someone doing his job answers a question in a straightforward manner. Chief Ortiz, is the crisis that is currently ongoing at the southern border making the border less safe? For Americans and aliens alike, answer yes. One word, one syllable, three letters. That's how someone answers a question and does their job. You're being a politician misleading the American people. Let me give you a chance again. Will you show the same integrity Chief Ortiz shows? Is the crisis at the southern border making Americans less safe? Yes or no? Senator, we have 260,000 You refuse to answer the question. Let's move on. And security of the Next American question, people. Mr. Mayorkas. Has the crisis made aliens less safe? Yes or no? Senator, we are seeking. So you won't answer that question either. If you, it, it is, it's a yes or no. Has it made aliens less safe? Senator, smugglers are exploiting. Has the crisis by, made aliens yes less safe? Are you willing to answer it? Senator, the smuggling organizations. Okay, you're, you're filibustering again. Let me ask you this question. How many migrants have died under President Biden? Senator, your, your phrasing of the question is actually quite misleading. How many migrants died in 2022? Um, uh, at our, uh, approaching our southern border? Yes. Precisely why we are seeking to exclude so you're, the can, Do you know the answer? Do you know how many died? I do not. You do not. Of course you don't. I know how many died. 853. That is 853. And by the way, here are the numbers that have died every year. You go back to 1998, you see it's consistently between 300 and 400, 300 400, 300 400. Suddenly, 2021, what happens? You get in office, and that red line are dead bodies. I've been on the Rio Grande, and I've seen dead bodies floating there who've drowned because of your refusal to do your job. You don't even know how many have died. What do you say to the Texas farmers and ranchers who find pregnant ladies dead on their property, who find toddlers dead on their property? What do you say to them? I say that is why precisely we are taking it to the smuggling organization. But you are not. Number, that is simply not true. Number two, it is but, why let, we let, are let, 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 let me read from the Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal two weeks ago ran an article entitled, It's Like Gra a Graveyard. Record numbers of migrants are dying at the border. The story begins with this chilling line, quote, Eagle Pass, Texas. Local officials keep a refrigerated truck to hold the bodies of migrants who drown in the currents of the Rio Grande while trying to cross the border into the U.S. Mr. Chairman, I ask unanimous consent that this article be entered into the re record. Let me ask you a different question. How many children have been sexually assaulted by human traffickers under the Biden administration. Senator, this is precisely why we instituted- I, I don't want Jack a lecture. It's a question. How many children I'm have been sexually assaulted by human traffickers under your administration? Senator, this is, this is exactly why on January 5th, 
We you, announced again, the you're, parole program. Do you program. know how many? Do you know how many children have been sexually assaulted? This is why we. Okay, you're going to refuse to answer that question as well. Let's move on. It's obvious you've been instructed to stonewall, so and I'm not going to let you. You don't get to stonewall and filibuster. Now, one of my Democratic colleagues before said the Democrat talking point, quote, this problem didn't start under Biden. That's, I, look, I get if you're a partisan spinner, you got to figure out something to say about the absolute catastrophe that has played out under the Biden administration. True or false, Secretary Morricus, 2020 was the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. Is that true or false? It is certainly the lowest level of immigration in many, many years. And what was it okay, fine. in 2020? What was it, Senator, in 2020 that impacted the entire world, including the United States? Okay, so your what testimony was- is the reason we had the lowest rate was COVID. It had nothing to do with building the wall, nothing to do with any catch and release, nothing to do with remain in Mexico. With all respect, Mr. Secretary, that answer is laughable. And in fact, if you look at illegal immigration, let's look at CBP encounters. You can see 500,000, 500,000. It drops to the lowest level and boom, what happens? You show up and that red line is you. That red line is Joe Biden. And you're claiming nothing happened. Oh gosh, th- this was here before us. No, you made the decision to allow this to happen. Let me ask you, we now have over 5.5 million people who've entered this country illegally under Joe Biden. How many murderers have you released into America? Senator, I'm not aware of any murder whom we've... So you don't know. Into the, into the, Senator, let me say something. If Do you, you know? If you take a look at... No, no, you, you don't get to give a speech. Do you know how many murderers I'm just you've released? To, I'm just trying to answer your question, How many rapists Senator. have you released? Senator, I'm trying you to know? answer your question. You can answer, I know or I don't know. Senator, any individual who poses a public safety threat... How many child molesters have you released? ...and removed into the United States, from the United States. Oh, so your testimony under oath, subject to perjury, is that you have not released any murderers, rapists, or child molesters among the 5.5 million? Is that your testimony? Um, Mr. Chairman, may I have the opportunity no, to No, you ask- may not. You may answer my question. You're, n- you're not Is allowing- that your testimony, yes or no? Senator, you're not allowing me to answer your question. I am allowing you to answer. I'm not allowing you to filibuster. If, if you take a look at the, the pace of immigration, in 2018 to 2019. You're refusing to answer. Let's move on. Let's move on to gotaways. Gotaways are the people that get away that you know about. Now, what happened under your administration? Gotaways consistently down at this low line. Boom, you get in. And they go from below 180,000 to 600,000. Now, I'll tell you this about a gotaway. You don't know among those 600,000 a year, you have no idea how many are murderers, correct? That is precisely why the number of gotaways... Do you know how many of those are murderers? That is precisely why... So you refuse to answer the question. You know how many are rapists? Do you know how many are rapists? This is a question. You're a lawyer. You know how to answer questions. Of the 600,000, do you know how many of them were rapists? Senator, this is why we So again, the answer is no. Let me ask you this. Do you know how many of them are terrorists? And I don't want to... Senator, here's my lecture on this. Do you know... How many of the 600,000 gotaways were terrorists? Yes or no? Senator, we are focused on the You refuse to answer that as well. What's the result of massive gotaways? Well, one of the results is drug overdoses. And we now have, last year, over 100,000 overdoses who died, the majority from Chinese fentanyl streaming across the border. Now, you told Senator Cornyn, you care, but look what has happened under your policy. When you open up the border to the worst illegal immigration in our nation's history, people die. You claim you care. Mr. Secretary, that is a lie. You know, some months ago, Corrine Jean-Pierre stood up at a White House briefing and said, people are not just walking across the border. Was she telling the truth? Senator, you are was she telling so the truth? profoundly disrespectful. Was she telling the truth? Two years. Okay, of you, government you, you, you get to answer questions. You don't Senator, get to give speeches. Senator, I served as a federal prosecutor. All right, for you're refusing days. to answer. If you look at, she was lying, and she was not lying on her own. She was lying on behalf of the President of the United States. Now, uh, the photograph of people walking. 
She was lying on behalf of the President of the United States. This is a photograph from just one day along the Rio Grande of hundreds of thousands of people walking across the border. You have allowed this to happen. The photograph that was before, what are, what are these wristbands? I don't know what they are. You Senator. don't know what they are. Mr. Secretary, you have just testified to the American people you're incompetent at your job because I've been to the southern border. And if you go to the southern border, along the southern border, you see thousands of these wristbands because the illegal immigrants wear them. The drug cartels, every color corresponds to how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. You have turned these cartels into multi-billion dollar criminal organizations. And these are modern day leg irons because these are children being sold into sex slavery and you don't even know what they are. That is astonishing. Mr. Secretary, how many children have been sold into sex slavery under your administration? Senator, we are taking it to the cartel. How many children have been sold into sex slavery? In an Do you know how many children have been sold into sex slavery? To an unprecedented degree. Mr. Secretary, I want to say to you right now, it is your behavior is disgraceful, and the deaths the children assaulted, the children raped, they are at your feet, and if you had integrity, you would resign. And I will tell you, the men and women of the Border Patrol, they've never had a political leader undermine them. They despise you, Mr. Secretary, because you're willing to let children be raped to follow political orders. This is a crisis. It's a disgrace. And you won't even admit this human tragedy is a crisis. Claiming one minute chairman time, Mr. Secretary, would you like to respond to any of those questions? What the senator said was revolting. I'm not going to address it. Your refusal to do your job is revolting. <clears throat>